Have you ever had one of those days where you are just frazzled at the end of it? Nothing seemed to get accomplished, you had obstacle after obstacle, and you're totally left exhausted mentally and physically at the end of the day? Well, I think we've all been there at some point, and this is a great remedy. It's called Mind Spa, and it's full of the coolest stuff that will totally help you rejuvenate your mind, body, and soul. Right off the bat, I met with the creator of Mind Spa, Dr. George Roselle, psychotherapist and board-certified neurofeedback specialist. Mind Spa is, is unique. We're a, kind of a hybrid facility, part spa, part clinical. Um, it grew as an extension of my clinical practice, but um, I saw a need for being able to provide some spa-like amenities so people can come in and do things to take care of their minds. First, Dr. Rozelle introduced me to the monochromatic color dome, an import from Sweden to enhance the moods, cleanse the chakras, and relax the body and mind. Inside the dome, the true colored light has no point of reference, producing a Gansfeld effect. That's pure color. Wow. Can you feel the vibration? Yeah, the chair is vibrating. Full spectrum. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, totally have to try this. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. After 10 minutes, I was wow, refreshed. That was so relaxing. And I love it because the dome is an infinite light and it's so beautiful. The color is so vibrant. It was so relaxing. And right now, the music is playing and the chair is vibrating. Ah, oh, that's good. Next, Darla explains how the vibroacoustic chair incorporates a multi-sensory experience, including vibration, visual stimulation by pulsating Roshi glasses, binaural beat music, and a rotating wave motion chair. I'm going to be transported to another dimension. <laughs> yeah. During this sensory overload, the mind cannot focus on any one stimulus, so it settles into a state of deep relaxation. Besides all the relaxation and the, the um, you know, sensory acceleration that we could experience here, you also can treat some very serious problems. Yes, and uh, that's basically what I'm all about, is uh, and my clinical practice. I've taken a real interest in treating uh, challenging cases like traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder. I've been uh, working with retired NFL football players and some combat veterans uh, who are suffering from PTSD. And uh, that's very rewarding because there's such a need out there and it's an underserved population. But in addition to that, you know, I, I have a very general practice and I treat anxiety disorders, depression disorders, uh, treating some stroke patients, um, yeah, some kids with attention deficit disorder. It's a wow. it's a wide variety. Yes, and you do this yeah. all with an alternative therapy, which is called neurofeedback. And people are also using neurofeedback for peak performance as well, right? Absolutely. I enjoyed uh, working in that realm as well. I approach it on two levels, uh, which I call reset and rewire. The resetting is done in a, in a couple of ways where we're actually providing some stimulation into the brain in such a way that we can encourage the brain to get out of stuck patterns and trust the brain to tap into a wellness memory and reorganize itself. That works very well. And um, the next step is the rewiring where we're, based on our brain mapping, we're telling the brain do this and don't do that. And uh, so it's more of an operant condition or learning model. Dr. Roselle has done a great job putting this all together over the years and, uh, and thank you. Thank you. And for the finale to my day, I'm going to float in a sensory deprivation tank full of oxidized water and 800 pounds of dissolved salt. Once you're settled, the lights dim to send you off into a peaceful floating experience. Okay, so I just finished my float here in this salt water sensory deprivation tank. Wow, what an experience. I mean, the salt water was supporting me and suspending me and it felt very safe. I turned the lights off, I had no sound, but it was almost like an anti-gravity experience, like I was floating. And interestingly enough, I had some tension in my neck that just really melted away because my body was just supported in a really comfortable position. Um, my mind was very quiet and relaxed, but then it went into this creative space 
I've been having um, a writer's block on this particular project I've been working on, and I had a breakthrough. I was able to go into this creative space, find a solution to the problem I was having, and now I'm re-inspired to work on that again. So this has just been an awesome day all across the board here at Mind Spa. I highly suggest you come in and try it for yourself. There are just so many gifts to be discovered here.